Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. I appreciate you tuning in again for a short message, a very short message, 10 or 12 minutes long on, on a subject that I believe will help you today because I'm speaking to you on the subject, the danger of jealousy. The danger of jealousy. Jealousy is an evil, evil emotion in our lives that we need to overcome. And if we're not careful, we will be overcome by it because everyone in the world has a temptation to be jealous of someone, jealous of somebody because of what's happening in their lives. Maybe it's your jealousy within the family because it seems as a child, it, the parents are treating one child, they feel like more interest in them than they are in themselves and they become jealous of their brother or sister. Or it may be on the job as they go to uh, uh, on a job that they go out there and work and someone gets a promotion and they do not get it and they feel like you know they're jealous of this person and envy him because jealousy and envy envy is desiring something that somebody else has and envy and jealousy are twin brothers they they both come out of evil self and they both are something that we need to find ways to overcome the the emotion, the trait of jealousy can lead to heartache, it can lead to divorce, it can lead to hurt, it can lead to hatred and even all, oh, it can even lead to murder, the evil spirit of jealousy. And so we need to see how we overcome it and how we need to see the, the evil of it. The Bible teaches over in the book of uh, 1 Samuel the story of Saul, the king of Israel, first king of Israel, mighty man Saul. And Saul uh, was uh, directing the, the, the nation of Israel. And uh, David, David the son of Jesse, came along and he slew the giant Goliath <clears throat> and uh, was offered a place at the king's table. And uh, he led troops out in battle and, and won battles, great battles for, for uh, Israel. And the people began to chant the name of David more than Saul. And Saul became jealous of David. He became jealous because he saw that the people were uh, giving him more credit than the great king was receiving. And uh, so he became jealous and tried to kill him. And, uh, and, and sought to kill him. And, and David had to flee and hide until finally Saul was killed in battle. And David came back and was made king of Israel. Became the great king, the greatest king Israel has ever had was David, the son of Jesse. But we need, and, and, and he, he wrote most of the Psalms in the Bible. Oh, we need to recognize that jealousy is cruel and wrong. And if you are beset with jealousy, you need to admit it and see that it needs to be set aside. Uh, we, we read over in the book of uh, Matthew, in the uh, 16th chapter, verse 24, we read some ways to overcome jealousy. Overcome jealousy. Number one, jealousy comes out of self, out of pride and self. And so the Bible says in Jesus, Jesus came to his disciples and said to them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life will lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. So you've got to give everything up for Jesus. You've got to go to Him and say, Lord, forgive me, because I have been jealous of these people. What you're really saying is, the Lord has no right to give this person more than He's given me. Oh, don't blame God and don't blame others. Oh, you have to blame yourself for jealousy and confess it. And the Bible says, well, what is a man profited? Jesus said, if he gains the whole world and lose his soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul, for his eternal soul? So we need to see the light of God to shine on His Word and teach us the truth. And we need to deny self in order to overcome jealousy and not be jealous because we need to recognize that what that person has, God has given to him. And so let us not covet and be jealous of that which God has given even to another person, and that person is not without a need of God. We all need God. So we see the way to overcome is to deny self and follow Jesus. Chapter 13 of Hebrews 13 verse 5 says this, 
let your conversation be without covetousness. Don't be talking about what you want that somebody else has got. Uh, but be content with such things as you have. Be content with what you've got. For Jesus has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So you see, you have Jesus. If you have Jesus, you've got the best. You've got the best. Why are you trying to get something inferior? Oh, listen, you have Him, and you having Him, you have the life. You have the peace, the power of God. You have that which only God can give to you, and that is life itself. And so learn that you already have what God has given you. And what He's given you is unique. No one else in the world just like you. God loves you just as you are. And you need to find God's way and will just as you are. And walk with Him and sing with Charlotte Elliott. I come to Thee, O Lamb of God, just as I am. I come to Thee, O Lamb of God, I come. Yes, we come to Jesus Christ and we overcome. Now here's, here's four ways I want you to learn to overcome jealousy. Four ways to overcome jealousy. Number one, number one is deny self. Ask the Lord to help you put self out of it. Get self out of the picture. Holy God, quit saying I and me. Just begin to think of the other person and other people and most of all of the precious Lord and try to get away from self, what you're suffering, what you have to do and how you've been mistreated. You have to get self out of it. And you do that by saying, God, forgive me. Help me overcome. And here's the way you overcome envy and, and jealousy from pride. You deny self. And number two, you begin to pray for that person. If it's a person that has caused you to be jealous of that person, then I want you to learn to start praying for that person. Pray that God will bless that person. Pray to thank God for his talent or her talent. Thank God for the blessings that they're facing and enjoying. And so pray for them. Pray for them, number one. Number, number two. Number three. Number three, I want you to recognize the importance of seeking to know that person is what they are by the grace of God. They are what they are by the grace of God. And so you need to, to, to pray for that person, and then you need, oh, praise God. You need to tell that person. You need to tell that person that, uh, that, that he's doing a good job. That's not an easy thing to do to tell somebody that they're doing good when you're jealous of them. But this is a way to kill jealousy, is to tell that very person that you think they're doing a good job and you're praying God's blessings on them. Number four, number four, number four. You first deny yourself and then you pray for that person and then you tell that person all that he's done for and that, that God has blessed him. And praise God, pray, praise God. And these four things are so important because when you do that, you do that, you, you are to one more thing, and that is to look for good in that person. Look for good. And, and try to see the good in that person instead of the evil. And if you do this, number one, number one, deny yourself. Number two, pray for that person. Number three, tell that person, hallelujah, that he's doing a good job. Number four, look for the good in him. Look for the good in her instead of the bad. And God will bless you. God will bless you. Let me tell you this uh, old legend story that was supposed to have happened many years ago in, the, in Greece where they had the Olympic Games in Greece and they were running even then in their coliseums for, for prizes and one uh, came in second. He ran he came in second but the one that came in first received all the credit and the, and the accolade of the people and they praised God, praised, praised his name rather and they and his name was in all the media, and so this man who came in second was just devastated. He saw how this other person was so elevated. And they even built a statue for him, the winner, because he broke the record. And this man would go by and he'd look at that statue and he'd just burn with jealousy. He said, I was right behind him, I was second, and they don't even say much about me. And so he said, I know what I'll do, I'll tear down that statue. And he went at night with a hammer and chisel, began at the feet, and he started chiseling away. Till finally one night as he's chiseling, the, the, the statue began to move and topple, and he said, ah, oh, it's coming down. And then he looked and he said, oh no, and began, it was falling on him. And he ran, but it was too late. 
the statue fell right on him and killed him. Now it's just a story of the old Olympic Games, but it's a truth that jealousy will slay you. It'll kill you. It'll kill you. It wasn't really the statue that killed him. It was jealousy that killed him. And some of my friends look to the Lord. Remember that scripture. Be content with what you have. Because Jesus has said, you've got me. And I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You've got the best. My dear friend, you already won the race. You're already in heaven. Your place is already with God. You're walking now in the light. You're finding strength right now to overcome. Oh, no use for you to be jealous. You are a child of God. You are beloved of the Lord. You belong to the King. Oh, realize who you are. And praise God and overcome envy and jealousy because you have the best. God bless you, my dear friend. Offer yourself to Jesus and let him take your life and use it for his glory. Amen and amen.